Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Japan. In the last episode, we're still in the build-up phase, working through our focuses, basically improving industry at the moment. And we'll be getting some extra resources, heading for this extra research slot. So that will be nice to have. And then we'll start working down the National Renewal Path, Get down the ideological debate. Then we'll start finishing uh, or working on Bushido. This is infrastructure. I might hold off on this until we see how things progress in the world. But getting down this route might not be a bad idea. Getting that infrastructure, because it's, it's free infrastructure. We won't have to build. Um, but yeah. Keep on working through this stuff. We got our first new marine divisions uh, trained up. These guys. Uh, we got our... First new cruiser design set up. I don't think we actually have any cruisers yet, but they're under construction. The first one will be done. Almost. Almost done. And we have a new frigate hull, a new battleship hull. And we're going to need a lot more dockyards. A lot more dockyards. Um, which, that's coming. We'll be getting more dockyards here soon. So, yeah. We got, we got a lot of work ahead of us. So, let's go ahead and get to it. In fact, um, let's go ahead and work on some designs. I was thinking about the ships. And I want multiple designs of each type of ship. Um, the thing for my cruisers, this is an anti-surface cruiser, right? The, the, Asas, the, the Asahi class is an anti-surface cruiser. I'd like an anti-air cruiser as well. I think that would be a good idea. Um, I think for frigates, we'd want to do or maybe three... Anti-surface, anti-air, and anti-submarine frigates. Um, and for corvettes, probably just anti-air and anti-sub. I'm thinking. So, let's design some ships. Let's design some ships. Uh, let's go to the cruisers. Uh, cruisers? Battle cruisers? No, no, no. Cruisers. So, we want to do an anti aircraft cruiser. Uh, for that, we're going to do light guns. Point defense, Sea Wiz, three, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, vertical launching system, surface to air. We want radar and Digital Integrated Fire Control System, Jet Turbine, or Diesel. Fuel usage plus 25%. Service Visibility plus 20%. Max Speed, Max Range. These are just better. I'll go with that. Alright. Um... 
More light guns? Yeah, perhaps. More light guns. Um, more... Let's give us some any... Any ship missiles. Just to have them. And... Light health pad. Sounds good. Uh, oh, we have to update that. Just want to keep the base uh, there. This is going to be the Mamiya class. Save that. So we'll build this one, and then we'll build one of those. Alright, and then we have new frigates, right? Two thousand frigate hull. Asagiri class. That's really what I should be building, not these, but a. Eh. Not those. So, for frigates, I say I want three of them. Or maybe two. Like, one general purpose frigate and one anti-submarine warfare frigate. That might be a good idea, actually. Light guns. This is what? Any aircraft. Surface to air, right? Uh, sea whiz. Point defense. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, vertical launching uh, anti ship missiles, I think. And attack, surface to air, anti ship, yes. Let me see, what's the difference between vertical launch, any ship, heavy attack, heavy piercing, 14 and 30. Oh. Uh, anti ship missiles 2, 12 and 36. Any submarine missiles. Okay. We want the vertical launching ones. There we go. Radar. Sure. Torpedoes. Yeah, torpedoes. And the helicopters. Yep, yep. And the helicopters. Okay, need a name for this class. Okay, so for these, um, we'll go with, well, since they're basically destroyers, we'll go with kind of meteorological phenomenon, which is typically, so I guess we'll just go with, uh, you know, straight up Fabuki class. There we go. Still have some experience. All right, so this is going to be the, uh, any sub. Still wanted to have good light guns. Um, it'll need to be able to protect itself a little bit. Um, let's give it some Sea Whiz. Let's give it some torpedoes. Okay. And then let's do. Any submarine mortars. Right, we want to give it sonar. It's definitely going to want uh, helicopters. 
And we're going to give it a turreted anti-submarine missiles. Anti-submarine warfare, 36. Um, how does that compare to, say... Oh, that's the only real option. Yeah. Any submarine missiles. Any submarine warfare is five on that. I think it'd be better to go with missiles. Yeah. Those are probably like rocket propelled torpedoes. Um, you know, so it, it's designed to fly to a spot and then the torpedo detaches from the rocket, drops into the water. And then, you know, the helicopter can also do like dipping sonar and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So that's good stuff. And um, for this one. Uh, let's call it the Natsu Bashi class. It's the only best thing I can think of right now. All right, there we go. So, for you, switch to Fubuki's. All right, that's good. Been a little, been a lot of time pause there. It's all right. Actually, are there more? No, I can't build anything out there. Probably because they need infrastructure. get some tanks built. All right. Um, the other thing I need to do is we want to start training some mechanized brigades, I think, which I need to edit the layout here because I want to get this down to 20 width. Um, tanks. Let's, let's remove that. We can put the tanks as a company. Recon. Same thing with the engineers, heavy engineers as a company. Self-propelled artillery. Actually, let's switch off the self-propelled air defense to a company. And the artillery to a company. Of course, it doesn't math out very well, does it? All right, well, then instead of Armored Recon, maybe we can do... Light Recon, we can get rid of the armor. Still, the, 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 they, they made the math real awkward here. Okay, what if I remove that and then made that... Self-propelled air defense. What if I remove that and made that heavy engineer... Uh, 
Oh, right. I got actually suit. There's a new uh, engineer battalion. Okay. Here we go. Got it out to 20 width. Cool. All right. Save that. And let's train a few of those up. How many do I need? I need 20 of them. Oh, that's as many as I can train. There we go. We are missing self-propelled a A. Okay. I will get that in there. France is constructing civilian industry in Chibu. Okay. Two days for that to be done. Lease industrial complexes. We'll keep rolling on that. Rare metal production. We are actually trading for that, so that will help. Keep getting stuff stolen. Kurdistan declared war on Iraq. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's see, what does our infrastructure look like? Could stand to be improved. Network battlefield. Alright, we'll cue that in. for some division speed. Kurdistan took one state. Iraq was puppeted. Okay. Iraq has capitulated. Okay. That was quick. Yep, we're going to need some of those SAMs. Modern Special Forces is done. Designated Special Forces Weapons. Go for that. Right, rare Metal Production is done. We can grab that extra research slot. And that probably means that I can... Reduce things here, I hope. All right, so that's early surface nuclear reactors, right? The 
advanced surface nuclear reactors. We'll work on those. All right, we have some options here as far as the intelligence capture cipher. Infiltrate Air Force, Infiltrate Army. Yeah, we can do that. Risky. Well, we'll give it a shot. And the United States wants to construct an infrastructure. We're actually going to start declining those. Oh, we've been declining infrastructure, but, you know, the industry as well. Probably short utility vehicles. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're short. Still positive. Civilian industry. Climb. Uh, utility vehicles. Utility vehicles. The, oh, hold on. WVR maneuvering. Malaysian election. Saddam Hussein captured. U.S. forces today captured a bearded and haggard-looking Saddam Hussein in an underground hideout on a farm near his hometown, Tikrit. The arrest comes within months after U.S. troops swept into Iraq, the Iraqi capital and brings to an end to one of the most intensive manhunts in history. In a televised address this afternoon, U.S. President Bill Clinton said that Saddam will face the justice he denied to millions. He said that the former Iraqi leader's arrest marks the end of the road for him and all who bullied and killed in his name. However, the president also cautioned that it does not mean the end of the violence in Iraq. All right. Here we go. Let's keep working on those doctrines. Get that extra research slot here soon. Right, more infantry. What are you short on? Armored personnel carriers and self-propelled AA. Yep. Okay. North Korean hackers have stolen classified military intelligence. Right, whatever. Extra research side. I mean, we have more political power than I know what to do with. Alright, we'll get that steel production. And for here... Could I start working on some aircraft? Air superiority fighters. These are multi-role. Yeah, we should probably start working on our own air superiority. Alright, we got Blackhawks now. Bombers. 
strategic bombers, maritime patrol aircraft. Maritime patrol aircraft. I have a feeling that those are going to be very important. So let's start getting improved versions of those. We are also going to need some carrier-based aircraft here soon. The whole pile of elections. I wonder why that was like so loud. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Cybersecurity level. Well, I guess we'll improve that. Just keep on working on that. All right, mechanized brigade. There we go. First one of those from the new uh, the new layout. Uh, you guys probably need to train. All right, carrier primacy. Carrier task forces. Got a missile frigate organization. All right, what do we got? We have our cruiser. All right, there we go. And that means we have a new cruiser. Make sure that's named properly. Israel declared war on Jordan? Uh, okay. What? And they just pop it to Jordan. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, keep cranking out those utility vehicles. There's our new steel production in Honshu. All right, national renewal. Local power plus 50. Base ability plus 5%. I guess I'll need to find something to spend a whole pile of political power on. Um, I really don't know. Could go up to mandatory service. Uh, that, the penalties on that are a little bit too high, I think. That just basically changes the, all my tension limits. You know, might as well. A 
ATGMs. I have mounted ATGMs. I don't have these. Eh, I guess we'll throw those in. We have one more factory under production that'll go in there. Now we're building some more shipyards. Plate reinforced vest. Digital camouflage. Probably a good idea. It's almost 2005, actually. Oh. Well, got a, you know, a year to go, pretty much. Means we'll own, have more opportunities or more options available for research. Alright, reinforced encryption. Keep reinforcing our encryption. So I probably need to start working on this stuff, too. Uh, Japanese consumers are spending less. Um, yeah, we'll transfer some shopping money. Looks like there was no change. All right, there's our new carriers. 1995 carrier hull. Work on those. 824 days. Yeesh. All right, but I think we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Keep on, keep on churning here. Getting more troops trained, getting more ships built. Actually, hold on, let me just uh, let that finish real quick. And then we're going to go down Path of War, because of course we are. Pro Western. And it will increase nationalist support, but that's not the direction we're going to be going ultimately. Yeah, but let's set that up. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and stop here for now. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.